Why is there an invisible wall there? Yeah, why is there an invisible wall there? So I basically created the periodic table of elements but for invisible walls. And we're gonna spend the rest of forever filling it out. Like, let me give you a quick rundown on water. Note that I'm making it purple, which makes for a nice party trick. In fact, you can say to your friend, I bet you $10 I can jump off the edge and survive. Easy way to make money. At the end of the bridge are these two flaps, short for fast laps, on the sides. So watch out if you're ever playing around near these two fast laps. So yeah, that's the second cause of invisible walls, which we're gonna call flaps. See that upper step? So what we're gonna do here is look at five different alignments of the upper point. So I'll give this case a happy face, happy face, happy face, happy face. And finally, I'm gonna give this case an angry face. And you'll see why in a moment. Mario stops having his hat on. Now everyone always wonders, why does going out of bounds make Mario lose his hat? Well, let me explain. Mario stops having his hat on. And because of that, we can actually have the out of bounds appear into Mario, causing he'll be in the state of having no hat. You get it? Like Mario stops having his hat on, caused a lot of frustration over the years. Now you have to wonder, did anyone ever stops having his hat on like this in the history of the game? Surely it would take like a thousand years before this ever happened to someone by chance, right? What? So it just goes to show he'll be in the state of having no hat. And now I'll show you another cool thing you can do with invisible walls, walking in midair, then down warping. So how does that work? There are four possible values. The movement succeed, Mario became airborne, the movement got cancelled, and fourth, Mario hit a wall, which happens when Mario hits a wall. Why does it down warp you? Well, I really like the way this one looks, it's very aesthetically pleasing. But anyway, here I slide in the walking animation. This one also looks pretty silly when you tilt him, especially because he's just running in place. Where are you trying to get to, Mario? You trying to go somewhere? Oh, almost got there. Come on, Mario, you can do it. Oh, almost there. Come on, a little more. Oh, there we go. Which results in Mario somersaulting for forever. That means all seven platforms have invisible walls on them. Look at that. Look at what you have to go through every time you traverse this area. Not even the foyer is safe. Even King Womp has some invisible walls. Like, a porcupine has quills for protection, whereas King Womp has invisible walls. Even Dory has invisible walls on the sides of his tail. It's more like a sea creature who got their tail stuck in plastic and now can't get it off. So will the floor jut out or the ceiling jut out? Neither one juts out. They're exactly aligned. So give it up for the programmers, guys. They made an edge vertex that exactly lies on its edge. No one thought it could be done, but here we are. Now we're gonna focus on one of the crystals, so why don't you take a guess at which crystal we're gonna focus on? You picked one? Okay, well you're wrong. This whole thing kind of feels like one of those carnival games that's secretly rigged against you. So if you want to impress your friends, don't worry, the programmers figured out a very simple technique he passes straight through floor A. It's like a little secret area in here, and then after they fail, you do it. So now you understand floor overshadowing. But you might be wondering, what does this have to do with invisible walls? Well, think of it like a carnival ride. Not that rigged carnival game from earlier, but like a nice peaceful ride where you're sitting in the boat, nice and safe, and it's passing by the scary pirates or something. But in this case, you're riding on the elevator with me as we're watching all the invisible walls. Because the answer was this little baby crystal in the corner. We can just have a friendly conversation, me and you. Me, who's recording these voice lines months in advance, and you, who can't actually talk back. But this one actually has a solution. See, you can go forwards on top of the clock hand because it creates a little safe haven above it. It's like Moses parting the Red Sea, but it's the clock hand parting the invisible wall. Before here and now, I was all on my own. Then you came around and I found my new home. A place for just us to talk about it all, and as an added plus, some invisible walls. So if you want my view, all joking aside, I love being with you on this elevator ride. Now there's one more topic we need to talk about, which is Mario getting squished. You see, you can get squished here, you can get squished here, but you couldn't get squished in here. Now when Mario's squished, he goes through the squish logic on each frame. Mario has to be pretty squished, squish push. We'll get more into that in a bit. Then you'll get squished. So that means it's highly susceptible to causing squishes. If you get squished enough to take damage, then you stay squished forever. Now let's go back and talk about the squish push. A squish push. Let's take a closer look. Squish cancel. Squish cancel on a spinner. Squish cancel on the elevator axle. Squish push and squish cancel. Watch here as I squish cancel three times in a row. I squish cancel many times in quick succession. Mario can just jump up with no actual geometry there, purely using the powers of squish canceling. How does he do it? Well, now you know. And so there you have it. That's all eight causes of invisible walls. 
And now that it's all explained, there will be no more mystery or confusion. There's a bright future ahead of us, full of knowledge and understanding. And I'll be there to explain it all. So thanks for watching this video and enjoy the finale!